Let's take a look at doing mail merge in Qualtrics. First, start in Google Sheets by creating your contact list. You want to make sure you have a header called email and first name, last name. And any additional fields you'd want to have for your contacts, you can include as additional headers. And again, just make sure in email there's a value for every single row. When you have all your data populated, you go to File, Download As, Comma Separated Values, and your file will download at the bottom. Then go to Qualtrics at stonybrook.edu slash Qualtrics and sign in with your NetID and NetID password. In the top right, we'll go to Contacts. In Contacts, I'll click Create Contact List, give it a name, and click Next. I'll choose Browse to find the file I just downloaded. And I'll scroll down to check that it got the fields I wanted correctly and click Add Contacts. When I find my new list in the contacts, I can click to select it and again see my contacts. When I'm ready to email them, click List Options in the top right and Send Email to List. I'll populate the from, reply to, and the subject. And then for the body of the message, I can add in regular text as I'd like. But anywhere I might want to add one of the fields from my contact list, what I'll do is I'll click on this uh, little A button, Insert Piped Text. And for the first name, last name, email address, I can go to Contacts Field. For example, if I want to say Dear Nicole, and I'll select Recipient First Name. And then it's going to add this um, funny text in here, which when I send the email will turn into the first name. If I want to add a value that wasn't first name, last name, email address, I will click on the pipe text icon and I will choose embedded data field. And I'm going to type exactly like I had at the heading of the Google Sheet. I'm going to type that value and click insert. And then it will again add some kind of funny text like this. When I am ready with that, I can go ahead and click Send. Once I've sent the email, I can select a contact from my contact list and click on View History to see the status of those emails I sent, including the status, whether it was sent or not, any issues, and the date and time that that was sent. And that's how you can do a mail merge in Qualtrics.